I have watched a number of different paranormal investigation shows. I have read a number of articles regarding paranormal activity. And I heard a lot of different opinions as to the way people explain what paranormal activity is. There's a lot of different ideas of what paranormal activity is. People have a different ways of explaining the spirit world. But in reality, regardless, there are still a lot of mysteries surrounding the spirit world, a lot of mysteries surrounding paranormal activity. And when certain names come up while doing investigations, names of different ghosts, it always seems like there's a mystery to solve. And if you can place a face or a name or the actual existence of somebody that existed at one time to these names, you feel like you've got enough information to validate that paranormal activity is real. I've been studying this paranormal activity to try to find answers to these mysteries of who these ghosts are. What do they want? Why are they here? Step by step, I've been able to come across paranormal activity that helps me to answer some of these mysteries. And that's why I do these investigations. I try to solve these mysteries and at the same time validate how real this paranormal activity is. All right, I'm definitely alone in the house, and I'm hearing a lot of strange, loud banging sounds. Anybody banging up there? Just gonna sit here for a minute and wait and see what happens. I like how I hit record and it stops. Alright, there are some loud, loud banging sounds, and I like how all of a sudden it just quits once I hit record. You're banging up here? I guess you don't want my attention that bad. Edmund, Hattie, are you guys banging?
Rachel. Did you say something? Elizabeth! Elizabeth, are you in this house? What happened to Elizabeth? What about Abby? What about Rachel? Brian? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set up a camera down here at the bottom of the steps, see if I can capture any of these sounds. I'll set it right here because this is like the center of the house. Let's see what happens. Who's making the noise in the house? Who's making the noise in the house? Are you making noise on the steps? Are you trying to get my attention? Hello? How come you're throwing stuff all over the house? Banging. Did you just say something? Hello? Hello?
hanging up here. Hello? Anybody home? Can you tell me whose handprint this is? It's definitely not mine. Looks like the size of a female's hand. And it's too big to be my wife's. Whose handprint is this? Tell me whose handprint that is on the wall. Testing this equipment out to see how well it works.
Might be able to hear you better. Elizabeth, Rachel, Abby. Hello? Hello? It sounds like that there's departed souls here that are so eager for attention. And this is your spirit talking? I hope the best for you. They say, help me, oh, I love you, and love, 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 and... Why are you at this house? Alright, this is Kent saying goodbye. Alright, this is Kent saying goodbye. Uh, you know, they kindly say your name. Who's in this house? But are they departed ones? That's the question. Are they actually real departed people that once walked this earth, or are they something else that's deceiving? Are you one cast out of heaven, or are you a departed soul? Heaven, or are you a departed soul? Did you used to be a human being alive on this earth and you're departed? And see, that's exactly why I need to shut the investigation down on this house. I'm going to be shutting down the investigation of this house. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Because if something is evil and it takes on the form of something kind and gives you attention, have to be careful. You just have to be careful.
no matter how bad sometimes it makes me feel that these are departed souls and they ask for help it, it kind of makes you feel bad that you can't really do anything but okay so what is this what is this I just wanted to let you know if you are a good spirit I hope you find peace and you move on into the light and I hope you're not tormented and see that's why I don't take anything that said or any spirit that talks I take it with a grain of salt until I know for sure what it is and to be honest with you right now every response I've ever had at this house I don't know what any of it is Don't be afraid. Got some questions tonight. And maybe possibly get some answers to them. That'd be nice. Okay. night. He was making all the note, the racket, the slamming of the doors and banging. You trying to get my attention on something? Elizabeth. Rachel. What? What? Elizabeth, Rachel, and Abby. What is it that you three have in common? Is there any way?
anybody can explain to me what happened to your baby, please. Abby, did you commit suicide over a baby? Over a child? saying is Abby was broken hearted over the loss of her baby and she committed suicide? Is that what you're saying? her uncle's name, Abby's uncle. Alfred's last name. I think I know. I think I've pretty much put this together, but I want to hear it from you guys or even from you, Alfred. What was your last name? What was Alfred's last name? piece this together, so I'm going to ask, was Alfred and Rachel in love, and then Edmund Lamb killed Rachel, and then Alfred also died, that had something to do with Edmund Lamb? Is it Revenge somehow for Rachel's death? Is this what happened? for your baby? Is that what you're trying to do? I mean, is it, are you stuck here because you can't move on because you're looking for your baby? Is that why you're stuck? And you can't find your baby? female ghosts, you spirits, you female spirits, listen to me. If you're looking for your baby or your child, they are not here. So if your baby died, if your small child died, they are not here. They moved on. You're not going to find them in the realm you're staying in. And maybe you should move on to the realm they're at. Not unless you can. 
Is there anything you'd like to say before I shut this down? Anything you want to say before I shut the spirit box off? I'm trying to do everything I can to get your guys' story to let people know about what happened to you, okay? I'm trying to let everybody know what happened. And I'm trying my best to get down to the bottom of what happened. And if some of you are stuck here because you're angry about what happened in your life, I'm trying to figure this all out, okay? And the more you guys tell me, the more I can figure it. The more I can figure this out, and the more I can let others know what happened to you. I'm trying to. Anything you want to say or do before I shut this off? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Shadow Dude's right there. He's smiling. Shadow Dude, what's your name? So even with lights on, he still appears. Can you hear me? Oh my God, I can actually physically see him with my eyes. But not even looking in the screen, I can see him. He's not very big at all. Smiling again. Smile. That man. I'm going to do a spirit box session. Won't be able to stay out here too long because it's cold. Do you guys get cold? No, sometimes some of you say you get cold. I was just wondering if all of you get cold. I'd really like to hear from Elizabeth, Rachel, Abby, and I want to find answers about this baby, or babies. I have a feeling that a lot of stuff that's been going on here with you spirits, you ghosts, has something to do with a baby in some of your cases. And it makes me wonder if some of you are a little confused about I don't know if you're trying to find your baby. I don't know if you died before your baby did and you don't know what happened to your baby and you can't rest because of that. You can't move on because of that? I don't know. Alfred, I need some answers from you. I know you don't feel like talking, but I need some answers from you, okay? Are you guys here? <laughs> Elizabeth, Rachel, Abby, Did something happen with the baby involving you guys, or is it is there somebody else here that lost a child, a baby, and you're looking for the baby? Find it? Is that why you're stuck? Because you don't know what happened to your child? Are you able to answer that, please?
Elizabeth, what happened to you? What's your story? Why are you here? Alfred? Does anybody know Alfred's last name? Alfred's last name. Alfred's last name. Clement? Did anybody mention Alfred's last name? That would be a big help to me if you told me Alfred's last name. Alfred's last name. Clement? I did find that there was, in fact, an Alfred B. Clement buried here in Carmel, Maine. He's buried at North Carmel Cemetery. Alfred Clement died in 1913. And what was strange to me with regards to Alfred's death in 1913 is that's the same year that I estimated that there is a good possibility Rachel died in that same year. I believe that Rachel died one year after her sister Naomi Mitchell was murdered. Based on the records I've come across, Alfred Clement never had any children, was never married. However, he did have a brother named Lester. Lester died in 1908. Six months later, on Christmas Day, December 25th, Lester's son Alton, at the age of four years old, died. And I thought it was strange how these ghosts, these spirits, keep bringing up children or babies and that they're looking for children. And Alfred did have a nephew that died at the age of four. I believe that this is the right Alfred that these spirits are talking about. But I know there's a lot more to this story than what we know at this time. Here's a photocopy of the records I obtained from the Carmel, Maine Historical Society of North Carmel Cemetery where Alfred's buried. Elizabeth, how did you die? How did Elizabeth die? <coughs> Who's the female looking for her baby? What is her name?
You know what's really strange about Paul and Annie? They were Paul and Annie Haskell. And obviously, you can see me standing here in the garage. Well, their house is right there. That's the Carmel Main Historical Society. And that's how close they are to the house here. Did you know you were dead? It is always amazing that when doing these paranormal investigation where these names keep coming up such as Paul Haskell, Howard Haskell. And what's amazing about this is that there was a Paul and Howard Haskell here in Carmel in the late 1800s into the early 1900s. And as you remember I did a paranormal investigation at the Paul Haskell house. And over there Howard was also mentioned. And if you remember I also did an investigation at Howard Haskell's house, and that was in the video, Stairway to Hell, The Spirits Upstairs. But when I heard Paul and Annie Haskell together, to me that was amazing, because Paul Haskell's wife is named Annie Haskell. Annie was part of the Ruggle family. Her maiden name was Ruggles. It's always amazing while doing these paranormal investigations, when names come up, you do have real people to connect them to. 
that they did live here in Carmel. And when you have this kind of information to connect to all of this, it validates this paranormal activity is real. Since I started doing these paranormal investigations going on almost two years ago, I had no information to go on. I was able to solve some mysteries, but there's so much more mysteries to try to solve here. In each investigation, it seems like we're getting closer and closer to finding the answers of the mysteries of what happened here in Carmel over a hundred years ago.